just going to have a quick look at a third and final part of the colour tracking before we move on to some more painting stuff in later uh, tutorials but just just some of the things that you can do now that we we were tracking where our, our colour was inside the, the box so at the end of the last last tutorial it's changed a bit in terms of layout while I've been playing with it but we, we had the the center points of our object. So if I I, I removed the the fancy player and built built my own because I wanted a bit more control that's a bit less CPU intensive. So we still have a red ball. I'm still going to try and click on the color. Just push that bit there. There we go, so I can still see we're still tracking our ball and we have the center point coming out. So just, uh, I, I made three quick uh, examples of things you can do while you're tracking it. Uh, but really it's about as creative as you can get. It's, there's no limit. Once we've got these figures, we can start manipulating them, we can start adding to them. Uh, and we know that through the maximum and minimum that we, we have the, the corners of the box as well so we can't we can work out nearly any any shape we want so the first one is nice and simple is that I just made a drawing tool so what it'll do is it'll join up lines every 20 milliseconds from point A to point B so it stores where it was and where it is now and so you can see that it'll start creating this shape and this is a set video bit of how to hook it up to the camera and hold up a coloured object and we could start drawing in the air in Max using it, uh, which is a really interesting, a really nice tool. You use use coloured highlighters, it's something I've experienced in the past, use the, the so you hold up the coloured highlighter and then use my sucker to grab the colour of the highlighter tip and then you can start drawing uh, with different coloured highlighters. So imagine having three different sections of this running tracking three different colors and suddenly you can start painting with max which is some really cool interactive work and just to take you into that so the patcher is fairly simple for this if you uh, if you ignore the gate because i've got the gate here just so that i can turn it off and on it allows the metro to pass through and refresh the lcd when the toggle is on and when it's off it stops that <clears throat> Excuse me. So all it's doing is uh, taking the X and the Y, so the center point, joining them together and then saying line 2. And then all it's doing is it's looking at the past and now the current location and then putting a line between the two of them. The faster your metro running the video, the faster that these are going to refresh and the smaller, less jaggy the line is going to look. So you can see here that it starts to get all these fragments that's just because it's not refreshed and it's it's almost guessing where the line's going to go but it's a nice artistic sketchy looking approach so we turn that off the second is that uh, i've attached it to some noise making equipment i'm just going to turn this down because it's really really loud so the first one is it is attached to a simple line cycle so it's just a very basic synthesizer. And you can see as the as it moves around, depending on the X and the Y, the higher the X, the higher the Y, and the higher the pitch of the tone. And again, this toggle here just runs straight into the uh, the DAC so that like, we can toggle it on and off when we want. Uh, fairly sort of five seconds to throw together. And then you've created a really interactive, engaging piece. So if you have people in front of the camera again, if you keep going back, this is what I use this for a lot: is live camera stuff, tracking specific colors, and suddenly people are drawing, people are making music, and put their hands in the air. Really cool stuff. So we'll turn that off. And the next is on a very similar style. What we have is it is looking at where the X on the end, in this case, is, and then depending where it is on the scale, it is playing notes. Uh, so if it's in further left, it's 
speed needs more cardio and more down keys. If it's higher, then it starts to move up the scale a bit. There's a problem with the refresh rate, and that's because the metro is banging so quickly it's playing a note at five notes every second. So ideally, I'd like to put in a second metro in on this one alone, but it's just a pure example of the sort of thing you can do with it. So you could have a playing a tune, you could have it playing samples, and it boosts. And that, that was it, it's just a, a real, really quick video just to show you what the sort of thing you can be doing with with your tracked colour now. Uh, the, the highlighter one is a really good test for you to go out and experiment on your own using the, the drawer patches here. So, pause the video now so you have them on the screen, but you can start doing it. So, the plan about with these, uh, it's all about the coordinates that you put into it. So. How would how you get it to pick out the, the right highlighter from the video? Uh, but we'll look at bringing in webcam footage rather than, than stored video at a later date.